So come on in and grab a chair. If you're outdoors, sit anywhere. Variety with Maniac. Not your first time. Well, welcome back. Well, I thought I needed new front brakes on the truck. So I went and bought new front brakes and put them on and found out it's the wheel hub assembly. So I got to put on a new wheel hub. Might as well show you how to do it. First thing you need is a garage, because it is freezing rain out here. And there's my garage. Just took my top, slammed it into my door, up there, closed it into my hood. Leaves me a nice little, it's kind of close, but leaves me a little area to not get quite so wet in here while I'm doing this. And we'll have at it. The first things you gotta do is get it prepped. Take off your little hub cap. And right here, I'm gonna have to take this nut off, but it's covered up by a uh gonna have to take this nut off, but it's covered up by this bearing cap cover. So you take the car to pin and straighten it out. Not a lot of light in here, is there? <clears throat> Pull that out. <sighs> like that, a little cotter pin. And then there's a little cap. And then right there is a nut. That's got to come off. Then you need the appropriate socket. This one here happens to be an inch and three eighths. Then ratchet. Now normally you'd want a breaker bar for this. But I don't have one. So I'm going to have to make do with what I do have. <clears throat> I'm going to have to find me an extender, I guess. Well, I got a universal extender. Let's see if I'm man enough. We ain't to hold that on there and get it. <sighs> ah, no, I'm gonna need a straight extender so I can do it on a breaker bar. Now, see if I can break it free. There we go. You don't want to take it all the way off yet. Now I know what's going to come out. Now I got to jack the truck up and take the wheel off. Not going to record it. Sure, you know how to take a wheel off. The tires off. Now I got to take off the brake <coughs> and the brake mount. Then I'll be able to pull off the uh, rotor, and then I'll have to pull the bolts for the hub assembly. Now, earlier today, I changed brakes on this side, and that's when I found out I needed a new wheel bearing. Always fun. Keep 
the brake caliper off. Try to set it up out of the way so it doesn't dangle, but well. Brand new brakes I put on today. No, I didn't put on new rotors because I don't have any. I really didn't need them. Okay, now I have to take the brake mount off. And I don't know what size that's going to be. Looks like it's going to be that size. <laughs> really shouldn't be in there that hard, but I guess it is. You have to care for that though. BFH, fix it anyway. Usually. Well, yeah. Brake assembly. Yeah. Brake mount off. Rotor. This is your hub assembly here. Now there's, I don't know if I can get you in there to see or not, but behind here, right there, there's a bolt. And then there's one more over here and one more down here. So there's three bolts that hold that hub assembly on. So what we want to do is find out what size they are and get those off. Alrighty, we're probably going to have to do the same thing with using another wrench as a breaker bar. Well, I'm much ado. Finally got it loose. Need to get me a 16, a uh, 6.15 millimeter, and put the strength to it. For those three bolts in the back. the three bolts that I'm in the process of taking out. Three. All right. Now we want to finish. I've got this thing locked into four-wheel drive, so it won't spin on me. We want to finish taking this nut off. that off okay now we want to take a screwdriver no I got one here somewhere okay then you're gonna have to take out your ABS line 
Now that's going to be an Allen wrench, and it might be full of crud, so it might be hard to get out. This one ain't going to be so bad. Get your ABS line out of there. Might be stuck a little bit. There we go. Now this, a bearing might, might not, Pop right out. Ah, uh, there's your wheel bearing. Simple schmimple. Iron. Clean this up a little bit. new hub bearing assembly. Now this one actually comes with the wire, whole new wire all attached to it, which will go up in through here and attach right there. But I don't feel like putting the hole. Uh, I might have to. That sucker looks pretty. Yeah, maybe not. Okay. Yeah, I guess oh well. We're gonna leave that on there. I'm going to attempt to line this up like this with the holes. Might have to go one more tooth. Like that. Take your bolts. Hopefully, just start putting them back in. Hopefully, you got it lined up. If you can't get it lined up, then what you want to do is take your vehicle out of four-wheel drive. And uh, then you'll be able to rotate that. But if you can get it lined up, then you want to leave it in. That way, there, you don't have to. Keep taking it out and in.
push that in. Take your 15 millimeter. And start putting it back together. We got a Allen wrench again up here. A little clip, maybe. Or maybe it's just a whole different size. Or maybe it's not even an Allen wrench. <laughs> you think I wouldn't be so lazy to go in the house and get some buy a or something. There we go. You probably can't see, but there's a clip. Well, I can't even see. How in the hell are you supposed to see? Right. There's a clip right up here to take that off. Here's your old ABS wire, so there's some copper. Whoops. And this goes up there. That's supposed to go over here, but that's broke so what i'll do is i'll just bring it up like this bring it up and over and then at some point i'll uh i'll leave that loose with the wheel turning at some point i'll take and put some wire ties in it yeah well, it's all on tight. So now we want to take this nut. Remember this nut? All right, you don't put this on. Now the thing about these nuts is you don't want to over tighten them all right you want to put them on so that they're snug but not over tight because then it will interfere with the correct workings of your wheel bearing all right we're close ah. Snug, but not over tight. All right. Now we take, put cap back on. Make sure it's going to hind line up with a hole. Put the cotter pin back in. You can go get a new cotter pin, but really not much point in wasting the money.
And voila. Now the rest of it is just putting the, uh, you know, you got to put your uh, your brake mount back on. I can find the bolts to it right there. And voila, now it's just a matter of putting the tires back on, or the tire. There you have it. That's how to change the uh, hub assembly on a Ford F-150. It's Maniac Variety. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. So come on in and grab a chair. If you're outdoors, sit anywhere. Variety with Maniac. Not your first time. Well, welcome back. You'll find it nice. You'll find it fun. Check out uploads, cause there's a ton. We hope that you do come on back. Variety with Maniac.